Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to the finale of Millionaire Detectives. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Let's see how in the world this show ends. I would like a season 2, but who knows. I love the fact that they're showing this over again. Oh my god. He was so just, even though he was a rich boy, he was so lived a normal life. Oh my god. Just, okay, the thing that I'm expecting for this finale is that his dad still explains what also happened that night. Because that's the biggest thing we haven't talked about is this show. Because every single time when we get to it in a flashback, he com Daisuke comes home and he sees his mom's dead body and his dad hunched over with the knife. And you're like, mm, two plus two equals four. There's the answer right there. But I feel like his father has something that Daisuke doesn't know about. Still, yes, his father is going to be arrested. We all know that. This series is going to end with his father getting arrested. But I need his father to give Daisuke, plus Haru at the same time, because Haru is there with Daisuke, clarity on also why he killed Cho and what to say to basically kind of shut them up in a way. I mean, it happens, but... It's still fucked up that Cho and What's His Face died because I wasn't expecting still anyone to die in this show. I thought this show would have been okay and everybody would have been alive. Like, hmm. You can't <laughs> always think that a show is not going to kill anybody because mm, you just can't. <laughs> Just be careful now. Damn, we just busting the wind, the doors down to it. Hmm? So fresh. No, 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 no. Have you not seen zombie or horror movies? You still keep that gun out just in case. No! Once again, even though this is not a horror movie. Don't go there by yourself. Oh. <laughs> okay, go, go, go get nice game. Why the hell didn't you go get Daisuke?
you have the right to know the truth. Jesus Christ, the spiral. It's a dead end. Where the heck are you? Suzui? Uh-uh. Isn't this where he- yeah. Because this was from episode three. Right handed. Why though? Why? Because you feel like Haru's a bad influence on him? So, if his dad didn't do it, did you have his mom kill it? I mean, hold up. Grandma! Grandma! No! Of course. Watching his every move. Okay. And she's going to have you go. Grandma, what the hell? And then I make sure wonder how the fuck he got here in the book because of course he did it. He did it. <laughs> I, 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 mm, same dude. Mm -mm. I mean, no offense, but you need to be arrested as well. Of course I do.
So you also think his mom, oh my God, grandma. And they didn't want that. Specifically, your grandmother didn't want that. That was the reason why they all were killed. Because here's the thing. If that had gotten out, I think it would have ended the Dice Bay family. I mean, not the Dice Bay, Combat family. And they would have never been able to regain the power that they have now. They would have probably started World, World War Three. There's no bullets in there, is there? Well, he did. I mean, oof. Don't drink that. You weren't supposed to press that.
Yes and no. <laughs> oh. He's basically happy where he is. And he's working with Dice Guy. Um, wait, are we serious? But there's like five minutes left. Okay, whatever. All right, final thoughts on this show. This was really good. The twist, finding out that it was grandma. That was good. Honestly, I, I kept thinking that, yes, it, there was a while where I was like, yeah, it has to be somebody in the family. Someone in the family is telling someone to shut up. But in my opinion, I kept thinking it was the father. But no, Grandma. <laughs> Grandma was like, nope, I'm shutting everybody up. But the fact is that she had some butler do everything. Because he, those two were the only two that we, like, saw of Jackson's family. We've never seen, like, other cousins besides Suzui. So, and we know Suzui wouldn't have done anything. So, like, who else could it have been? I mean, yeah, bro. For a thought, for a moment, you kept making me think, yeah, that's dad. And but then seeing his father like that, oh my god, it's interesting. But oh, this is so messed up. But I, I like the way it ended. Honestly, it wrapped everything up in a nice little bow. It ended nice. I'm happy. That's all I care about. I don't know what the heck they're gonna show in the last few minutes of this episode, but still, it was a damn good show. Of course. I, I really don't think so. <laughs> because it's cheating. Seriously. That will be really expensive. Yeah, the more the merrier. Okay, so then where are those two?
Thing in America? Mm. Still working together and can't. I will be team. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Look at him like fucking half mm -hmm. There he is. Gotta make that grand entrance. <laughs> It's episode one all over again. You gonna help them out this time? That was a good way to end the show, honestly. But, I mean, like I said, if, if this show wants to have a second season, I'm down with that. If we don't get anything else, I'm also okay with that. I mean, it wrapped up what it needed to wrap up. I don't think that um, it left anything else for a season two, because, like I said, this is a original anime. And sometimes with some original animes, not all... They may not even have any more stories to tell or want to tell more about certain characters. But I think it would be nice. I mean, maybe in a couple of years if they really wanted to do it. It also depends on how merch sales and everything else goes for it. But I'm really glad that we are finally kind of done with this show. Because <laughs> when the show aired and we only got the first two episodes and that was months ago and the fact that we had to wait for episode three for such a long time and I was like god we're gonna be waiting the whole like I was expecting this really not to re-air or air entirely into like fall because who knows because let's look at every freaking show that's gotten you know uh postponed because of COVID it's so many freaking shows and so it, it's just weird because even shows that are coming out kind of next year they've all got postponed and it makes you wonder how many more more shows are going to get postponed because of this. But I did really love this show. It did give me um, 007 vibes, even though I'm not really into James Bonds like that. But um, Catch Me If You Can, a little bit of kind of Oceans in a way, even though I've never really seen any of the Oceans movies except one. And that is a spin-off sequel to the original to the ocean movies <laughs> but it was so good and i loved it a lot i just i really will miss this show because it was so interesting i mean the first few episodes was really good but just this whole arc like the true um ending of this show was really good oh my god, oh my god. i love the fact that they brought back stuff from episode one into this like doing the same thing but I was thinking no this time he's really gonna pick him up and help him up instead of what he did being an asshole in episode one and let him drop but no he does 
like we did the same thing and i mean oh i love the fact that these two were still working together no matter what i mean but still i i would just say yeah go ahead and give me a season two i would love it i think a lot of other you know females like myself and you know guys for the other team would also like it because this show was too damn good but yeah other than that, guys, that is my reaction to you <clears throat> towards the series and the Leonard Detective. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day during the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all in October for the start of fall anime. Bye, guys.